<laughs> special guest, fellow co-worker at Rochester's finest Italian, Florida transplant, our good buddy, Jordan D'Angelo. How you doing tonight, Jordan? Hi, I'm doing good. How's everybody doing out there? We are doing great. Nice Glad to, to have you, you in, Jordan. Hey, pleasure to be here. Long time coming. You know yeah. it. I've been waiting all these weeks, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, when we started this podcast, we already knew in our head, like, hey, we got to get Jordan on here, and the stars finally aligned. So why don't you tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, your name, what you got going on right now, where you're from, stuff like that. Hey, well, it's a great honor to be here. Uh, my name's Jordan D'Angelo. I'm going to be 35 here in a couple days on June 4th, and uh, I was born in Rochester, and uh I've lived there till I was about 12 and I'm um, always a big time Bills fan and then uh, moved down to Vero Beach, Florida for uh, almost 20 years. And then about three years ago, uh, I ended up moving back up here with my uh, fiance and then I brought my dad back and everything. I always told him we'd always make it back up here and it only took 20 years to do it. But here we are. Hey, hey, nice. I always I always forget when you when you start talking about it that you got the same birthday as my father. So no kidding. Happy All right, birthday. I'm in good company it, it, here then. Yeah, it's coming up. Good man. So tell us a little bit who influ who influenced you the most as uh, like in your formative years becoming a Bills fan. Well, I would have to say my father, and as the folklore goes, I don't know if there's any truth to it, uh, but my dad was a big time New York Giants fan. And he even, you know, had New York Giants bed sheets and curtains for me in my room and all that. And uh, as the story goes, I was about three years old. Football Sunday, my dad comes in my room. He says, hey, George, you ready for the Giants game? I pointed at his shirt. I says, what's that? He looked down. I bopped him in the nose. I says, I'm a Bills fan. And ever <laughs> since that day, I've been true blue. Wow, I have never <laughs> heard of that story before, but I wasn't oh, ready for and that. Uh, as a side note, I have converted him into a Bills fan for the past ten years. He's a he's now a diehard uh, Bills mafia. So let's go. Yeah, <laughs> you 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 beat it into him. <laughs> it was the clear and obvious choice. Right. So when did you migrate to Florida again? Uh, it was ninety eight, ninety nine, somewhere around there. I was about twelve, thirteen years old, and okay. Uh, yeah, it was a. It wasn't the transition I wanted, but the dark days. Right. So, <laughs> what does that mean? Like you were in middle school, right? Yeah, yeah. I was just going into eighth grade at that time. Okay, so from personal experience, you migrated after middle school. Can you fill the people in where you've lived? So you said Vero Beach, Florida. Yeah, Vero so Beach. I moved. I moved to uh, Vero Beach. I went to high school in Sebastian, which is probably like half an hour north of there and, oh, okay. uh, and then i lived in Vero for the rest of the time and uh it's centrally located it's on the east uh east coast and um mm -hmm. it's nice it's a, you know it's a hidden gem still and all that but my right. heart was always back up here a can you hot down there yeah, yeah too hot for my blood too hot, too hot so can you tell us what florida bill's life was like for you like i gotta tell you dicks to you <laughs> They were. Yes, they were. Uh, <laughs> especially first getting down there. But I got to tell you, I thought I would be the only Bills fan down there. And guys, Bills Mafia runs deep down there. Let me tell you something. And uh, it was tough. And it was definitely Miami territory and all that. And uh, But there's a healthy rivalry still going on down there. And uh, honestly, I went to plenty of games down there in Miami. And it's almost like a Bills home game when you go down there. It's it's uh it's a we there's there's plenty of Bills fans for sure. That's great to hear. And does it feel weird that you're back home now, or is it exactly how you remembered in terms of being a Bills fan? Oh, uh, it's it's a lot like I remember it for sure. It is weird. It's only surreal because of how long I spent down in Florida and how hard I tried to get back and how long it took. And now it's actually happening, and it's uh, it's everything I dreamt it could be. You picked a good time to come back. <laughs> Not bad, right? Oh, honestly. <laughs> right. right. So uh, give me both sides of the coin. You're down in Florida. Give me your, your worst day as a Bills fan in Florida. Give me your best day as a Bills fan in Florida. 
my worst one is an easy one to tell you. It was the first year I had been down there. Uh, it was a little thing called the Music City Miracle. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you, We try to skip had, that on this show. You had, you had Doug Flutie in one shoe and one sock driving down the field, and all of a sudden, uh, a blatant forward lateral later. Uh, what did end up happening was I didn't talk to anyone for a week. I locked myself <laughs> in my room. I didn't go to school for a week. I wouldn't even eat dinner or talk to my parents. And uh, I definitely shed a couple tears. Uh, mm. So that was most definitely the, the worst day as a Bills fan down there. Uh, best day? Uh, it's a good question. I went, uh, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, being down there uh, for 20 years, I went to 15 Bills games, all losses. Uh, oh so God. that was tough. <laughs> But you know, okay, so we stop going to games. <laughs> you know, I might be the bad luck fan. Who knows? But uh, we were going through some tough times then. So, but uh, we're 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 coming out of that now. Hmm. So, last season was a blast, right? Oh. Uh, if you had to describe the season in one positive word, what word would that be? When. All they did was win all year long. Win, win. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was awesome. It was so exciting. I'm so thankful for that season. We, mm -hmm. It's exactly what we needed at exactly a dark time in our lives, and it really it made everything all better. And you know what the most consistent thing about all those wins were, Jordan? What's that? You weren't at any of those games. So <laughs> I was at a couple. <laughs> I was at the home opener against the Bengals, and uh, no, was not broken. W. No, <laughs> no, that, that was two years ago. Oh, that was two years ago. Yeah, you really got me there. Yeah, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. No, no one was at any of those games. You got a good right, point. Right, right. I'm, okay. I'm still dating. I still date everything in 2020, and they. Uh, I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> okay, so now other side of the coin. If you had to describe the season in one negative word, what would you say? Oh boy, Hail Murray! <laughs> that <laughs> was a fluke. Words, but that I'll was count it. we. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because you know we deserve that game, but it's okay. These flukes happen, and uh, we're we're going to learn from it, and we're we're not going to that. It's not going to happen again. Put it that way. Did you cry and lock yourself in the room and shed a tear or two? <laughs> uh, it's possible. You never know. Not so much. Not so. I was in a little bit of shock, but uh, I I knew we would pull out of that, no problem. So, yeah, nice. we talked about that one on this podcast before, and that was just like, it was just like shock for a couple seconds, and then I was like, God damn! I just saw like one of the greatest football plays I'll ever see happen live. Like you can't even be mad about it. I, I, I can't mad. be mad. I was mad about I, it. <laughs> I was salty, that's it. for sure, but. Uh, you know, oh. I'm not, I'm not wishing the Cardinals any luck. Let's just put it that way. Mm. All right, man. So what are we 15 Sundays out right now? Oh yeah. And counting. Yeah. So we're every day. We're one day closer to a bills regular season. So give us a little bit of a sneak preview. You got any big plans for this season? You going to any games? You got anything lined up? What do you think? Up? Home opener against the Steelers? So that sounds pretty decent. What's in the bag, bud? What's in the bag, buddy? <laughs> so, you know, upper, I, I guess the upper level starting at uh, 160. So I'll see you in the 300s. You know what I'm saying? See you in the 300s, buddy. <laughs> 300 strong. Yeah. No Be problem. watching most of this game on the Jumbotron. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no problem. You got any other games lined up for the season? That's a good question. Uh, not at the moment, but I'm sure there will be. I don't have them lined up, but I'll be there. That's for sure. I'll see you in the hammer lot. We'll crush you, Polshies. Yeah, that's right. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, right, right. So I know Kristen is a Bills fan now, and for those of you who are yes. listening, Kristen is Jordan's fiance, And she's from Florida, so I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say she wasn't a Bills fan, but – much like your father, you have converted her to being a Bills fan. Tell us That's right. how, the obstacles that that challenge presented and how you eventually pulled it off. Well, okay. 
it just so happens that her father is a big time New York Giants fan as well. We're still working on him. Uh, okay. We haven't given up hope yet. But uh, Kristen wasn't even a big time football fan. Didn't really know the rules too much or anything like that. She would be nice enough to watch it with me. And, and uh, you know, I would show her a little bit here and there. And uh, the interest just grew. I, after the first season that she sat with me and watched it through, the interest grew so much to the point where she was playing mad with me, you know, learning playbooks and all this stuff. And, uh, and now, oh, she's fully ingrained Bill's Mafia now. So there's there's no turning back now. Oof. Definitely. Justin? So Jordan, you're, you're, you're at a bar. You're ordering a plate of chicken wings. How are you getting them sauced? What kind of wings do you want? Blue cheese ranch. Give us the whole rundown. Okay, order, okay. You want a little order bit of chicken here? wings? Where are you uh, getting them? All that. I'm, okay, where am I getting them? That's a good question. Uh, I you really can be like in when Buffalo I'm in, or when I'm in Buffalo. I, re- I really like Bella Pizza out there in Buffalo. They're they're a big time uh, for me. I like them a lot. I'm not trying to impress anybody, so I'm like a medium Buffalo guy. You know, uh, not too hot, not too mild. Uh, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. If I'm gonna dunk, it's obviously blue cheese. I'm not too much of a dunker, you know. I like a nice sauce, a little bit here and there. Definitely on the celery, blue cheese for sure. And uh, I and uh, to settle the debate, I, I like drums. Uh, I like I like them all. I like flats, but I'm I'm a drum guy for sure. Flats. I'm a flats guy. Yeah, you. Hey, you know what can you do? You, you scream drum boy to me, Jordan. I'm a drum guy. You know, I go against the grain. <laughs> I got one more for you, Jordan. Yeah, let's go. No holds barred, whatever you want to say. What is your favorite Bill story of all time? You can be involved in it. It can be something you watched, something you heard of from a a generation before you. What's your favorite Bill story? Uh, Honestly, I got to be honest with you here. Uh, uh, it was the Andy Dalton touchdown uh, that catapulted us into the uh, breaking the playoff drought. And honestly, watching Kyle Williams in the locker room, I mean, I, I was sitting at my house. I had all my friends over. We were having a little party. I had to excuse myself because I was very emotional. And at the time's fourth quarter, Miami's coming back in their game. We're, you know, we're kind of losing a little bit. And then. Uh, we we're coming back, and then I'm like, you know what? There's no shot. I don't know if it was a fourth and 17 or what it was. And then when Andy connected in the end zone there, I mean, I broke, I jumped up and down. I broke the folding chair I was sitting in. I, I think I might have ripped the ceiling fan off, and uh, I started crying profusely. And uh, all my friends were there to console me, uh, but they were tears of joy, I assure you. So yeah, you locked think- yourself in your room again? <laughs> no, oh no! I made pizza and wings for everybody. <laughs> oh, perfect! I think I think we talked about it on this podcast before, but I was at work at uh, Rochester's finest Italian restaurant that day, and nice. You guys both know him. I won't use last names, but I was working with Mike, and it was like the only other Bills fan on staff. You know, that whole restaurant is just devoid of Bills fans somehow. And I just remember I was managing the restaurant and I just completely lost touch of like the situation and who I was in that moment and everything. And I just sprinted across the, across the room and he had his arms open and like, he wanted a hug and like, nah, like I jumped into his arms like a little baby, like, bro, we've been waiting 20 years for this. That was 20 years in the making, dude. Um, What a sweet moment it was. It was a, that was a fucking wild day. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. That was the turning point. That was the paradigm shift, and now we're on to bigger and better things. Right. We're throwing the touchdown passes. We're not waiting for it. Man, <laughs> right. if I had to – back to your other question, too, if I had to describe it one word or two, touchdowns, man, holy cow. It was like touchdown time. I got this little bell that I ring whenever we score, and my uh, wrist was getting tired. It was unbelievable. <laughs> Get some carpal <laughs> tunnel. I need a brace. Arthritis. <laughs> All right, Jordan. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, my question to you is: When you guys get big and famous, and when you're meeting all the Buffalo players, if I could come along with you, that would be great. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I, you know, 
You didn't quite phrase it as a question, but yes. Yeah, yes. if if we ever get to that point in It was our more of an assumption career, than a question. Yeah, if yeah. we ever get to that point, Jordan, you're definitely coming you're with already us. There. You just can't go in the locker room because apparently every time you step into the stadium, the Bills lose. So you just oh, to... Uh, to be fair, it was always visiting stadiums. I have been to plenty of wins at at the Ralph uh, or whatever they're calling it these days. Hi, right. Mark. Hi, Mark. Yeah. All right, but to answer your question, yes, you're, you're, yes, we will bring you along if we God ever bless get to that you. point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Jordan. Well, that wraps up our questions. Uh, thanks for coming on, man. I know it's late for you. You just got out of work, and it's twelve o'clock basically oh, <laughs> Eastern time. So, thank you again for sticking through with it and being a part of our show. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, guys, for having me on. And go oh, Bills. It's a pleasure talking to you, Jordan. Go yeah. Bills. Go Bills. All right. If you'd like to join our show, you can email us at the Wandering Buffalo Podcast at gmail.com or give us a DM on our social media accounts by searching the Wandering Buffalo Podcast. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Mm-hmm.